This is going to be a brief demonstration of uh, different ways um, to make a motor move with speed and direction control using uh, L298 motor driver and well, just about any microcontroller, but in this case it's uh, Arduino Uno. Um, for this particular demo, I am not going to have speed control. This is part one. There will be no speed control, um, but there will be direction control. I'm using two wires. Um, if you had four or if you had two motors, you would end up having two more wires connected to the other side of the driver um, and connected to these two pins here. So we have an enable pin. N1 uh, and N2 are connected to OUT1 and OUT2. You need um, to make sure that you have a ground going to your microcontroller for the motor driver. So we will be using an additional 9 volt supply. Um, we have the uh, ground to the bat to the 9 volt battery and then of course the positive to the 9 volt battery. Um, later we will be adding a, a switch and some additional wires. But that's later. Um, basically this is going to be the entire setup. Uh, at least for this particular demo it doesn't matter uh, which pins are connected and in reality it doesn't matter anyway because you can switch these in in software um, so once you hook this up and even if you've got the pins backwards you just change the software to make it go forward or, or reverse um, easy enough to do so uh, like I said the, the first demo that I've got running here uses no speed control it's probably the absolute simplest way to get a motor to move so let's plug the battery in and the motor should take off just like it did so you can see it hopefully you can see that it's moving at a pretty fast rate my battery's a little dead so it's not moving quite as fast as it could um, but in later demos you'll actually see I can make it go faster and slower, so that's, uh, that's sad and hopefully you could see that it was going forwards and backwards or in a different direction every few seconds. So that's, uh, that's part one. Uh, okay, <clears throat> this is a uh, part 1A and uh, I have moved into IN number two to pin five on the Arduino because um, I'm going to show speed and direction control using two wires but two pulse width modulation pins. So each, uh, each pulse width modulation pin is um, toggled. One one will be high, one will be low, and that causes the direction control. Um, and then we send uh, pulse width down one side, the high side will have the pulse width on it, and that will cause it to go faster or slower. Hopefully you can see that the motor is moving pretty slow right now. It should actually pick up speed and start going a little faster and then it's going to stop and go the opposite direction. Um, for most of these uh, yellow motors there's a certain point 
where they will stop altogether. Um, the pulse width modulation is not enough to make them actually move. Um, I call, I personally call this the stall speed. And then of course the maximum speed is the most pulse width modulation. Um, I think my batteries are dying on me though. This should be zipping along pretty good. And I see an error in the program. So that's why it's going so slow. So we're going to reload the program. See, hopefully you could see that it's going in this direction and it's speeding along pretty well. Now it's going to go in the opposite direction. You see that it slowed way down. It's going to pick up speed in the opposite direction. goes again. So one little change in the program and uh, things work better.